Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over a couple examples of how you can create radar charts. For the imports, we have imported matplotlib, numpy, and pygal. For our first example, we're going to use matplotlib, and we're going to compare several different categories among vehicles that might be used to help make purchase decisions. Now note, when we compare these vehicles, we're going to use a scale between 1 and 5, where 5 is the best. So the first thing we did is we went ahead and created our categories. And the categories will be fuel economy, reliability, comfort, design, and repair costs. Now note on the repair costs, it might be a little bit counterintuitive because we said 5 is the best. So just note that a higher number on the repair costs is actually a good thing, meaning that it actually has lower repair costs. The next thing we did is we went ahead and created the values for three different vehicles. So, for example, vehicle 1, for fuel economy, gets a rating of 5. Vehicle 2, for fuel economy, gets a rating of 3. Vehicle 3, for fuel economy, gets a rating of 4. Then we would move on to reliability. Vehicle 1 gets a 4, vehicle 2 gets a 4, and vehicle 3 gets a 4, and so on. Now, an important thing to point out. To close the radar shape, or to connect the lines, what we need to do is to add the first list element, so that would be 5, 3, and 4, to the end of the list. And let's show you an example of what happens if you do not do that. Okay, so you'll notice for the values for vehicle 1, we have 5, 4, 4, 2, 3. And you would think that would be fine because that corresponds with the number of categories. However, what we actually need to do is to take the first element, 5, and add it to the end. And you can see what happens if you don't do that. You can see that the shape is not fully formed. Okay, so we would want to close off this line. So all we have to do is to take that first element and add it to the end like that. Now there are several different ways to do that, and one way to do it is just like we've shown. However, we're going to do it in a different way, and the main reason we're going to do it that way is to make sure that you don't ever forget to do it, okay? So let's go ahead and run this. You can see now that we've added the 5, that it closes off the shape and connects the line. Okay, so in order to add that first element to the end, we're just going to go ahead and overwrite each variable and add that first element. And to do that, we use numpy.concatenate, and inside the concatenate round brackets, we go ahead and put our original list, and for the second part, we just go ahead and concatenate the original list with the original list first element, with the index of zero. And another thing to point out, pay special attention to this syntax and make sure that you put in all of the round brackets and the square brackets. Okay, to review, instead of manually putting in that first element, again, like that, we're going to do it like this. And that's just to help remind us. So you could do it either way. Then you'll notice we went ahead and did the same thing for vehicle 2 and vehicle 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at our radar chart. And you'll notice that we have all of our category labels placed in the proper location. So we have reliability fuel economy, repair costs, design, and comfort. So, in order to do this, we need to go ahead and figure out the coordinates of where these should be placed. And to do that, we're going to use numpy.linspace. Then we need to go ahead and put in the start and the stop. And since we're using radians, we start at zero and we go to two times pi. Then for the third argument, we use the length or the count of the elements in our vehicle one list. And this will go ahead and calculate evenly spaced angle coordinates. Also, note that 6.28 radians is equivalent to 360 degrees. Okay, so as we mentioned, we wanted to go ahead and calculate the evenly spaced angle coordinates. We've done that using the NumPy lens space and assigned that to the label placement. Next, here we have used print to display the label placement in radians and degrees. For the plot, we're going to go ahead and use radians. However, to help us visualize where the category labels will go on the radar chart, we've also printed out the degrees. 
So we have the radians and the degrees. Here are the coordinates in radians, and here are the equivalent coordinates in degrees. So for example, 72 degrees is the same as 1.2566 radians, and so on. Now, let's take a look at these degrees. Here. Let's go ahead and comment out the labels and rerun this. And you'll notice on the radar chart that the angles where the labels will be placed for the categories and also where we can do the comparisons, those angles will match up to the degrees. So the first one starts at zero here. The second one is 72, and that's here. 144 degrees is here. Then we have 216 here, 288 here, and then 360 is the same as zero, and that helps us close off the shape and connect the lines here. So now we're ready to create our plot. We go ahead and use matplotlib plt dot figure with the figure size of six by six. Next, we create our subplot and make sure that you assign true to polar. Then we go ahead and create our plot and we put in our label placement coordinates that we created here. And then we put in our vehicle one values that we created here. Then we do the same thing for vehicle two and vehicle three. The next thing we're going to do is to use matplotlib theta grids and this will help us place the labels at the specified angles using degrees. So we go ahead and create two variables, lines and labels. Then we use plt.thetagrids. Next, we put in the coordinates. And you can see we displayed an example of those here. And then for the labels, we just use the categories. Here, we've gone ahead and added a title. And then here we've added a legend. So now we can do our comparison. So let's just go category by category. For the fuel economy, vehicle one has the best rating of five. For the repair costs, vehicle three has the best rating of five. For the design, vehicle two has the best rating. For comfort, vehicle two also has the best rating. And for reliability, all vehicles are the same. So you can see how this could be useful when making different types of comparisons. Let's move on to our next example. And in this example, we're going to be using PyGal. So the first thing we do is we reference the PyGal module. Then we use dot radar. And in here, you can put in the size of your chart if you'd like. We go ahead and assign that to the variable radar chart. Then we use radar chart title to assign the title. Then we use radar chart x labels to create the categories or labels. Then we use radar chart add. We go ahead and put in our label for vehicle one, and then we add the associated values. And then of course we do the same thing for vehicle two and three. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our radar chart. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.